welcome back welcome back to my channel welcome to another weekly vlog it is four days before we leave for Florida so I thought I would take you along with me this week as we prepare and pack and get ready um, to leave on Friday we drive we always do a road trip um, it's something that I think we are pretty much used to even though sometimes it can be a little painful um, but uh, it's been something we've been doing with the boys since they were born, so they're used to it as well. So I'm going to make myself some lunch. It is Monday. I am working. It is, what, August 7th? And I'm on my lunch, so I'm just starting this now. Um, in case you notice, I did get my hair cut, <laughs> and I had some highlights put in. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess right now, but I am so happy to have that chopped off. So let me go ahead and make my lunch. Okay, so I'm sitting here at my laptop and I'm actually going through my Etsy shop. I wanted to go through each listing and kind of revamp them and, you know, fix things. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing, but I'm actually going to go back to work in a few minutes. But I wanted to also let you know that I am going to be making an announcement soon i'm not sure if it's going to be before i go on vacation or after um, but it has to do with my blog and um, the future of my blog and other um, important exciting things <laughs> um, but i figured i would just mention it here since i'm sitting here and i'm doing some work i wanted to you know just share that with you i don't know how much i'm going to get today um, Saturday, I spent, well, Saturday I went to get my hair done. Sunday, um, yesterday, I took up um, the beach bag that we, you know, we take with us on vacation, cleaned it all out, refilled it with, you know, all the things we need, and I also went through um, a basket um, of trip things that actually, it's, it's for Florida and for Disney, but what I usually do is when I know as it's getting closer to when we're going away, I will go ahead and take a laundry basket and just start stuffing it with things that I want to remember to take with me. So yesterday I went through that. I went and I um, made sure that all the battery operated fans had new batteries and added extra ones um, to take with us, charged the electric ones, although I'm probably going to have to do it again before we leave um, from my sister-in-law's to Disney. Um, and what else? Oh, I opened up my new um, toiletry bag just to check out to see, and I'm still not 100% on it. Um, we'll see how that works out. But let me get back to work and then I will pick up either this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Hi, <laughs> it is now what? 4.30 already. Um, yeah, this day has kind of just flown by. I haven't really done much of anything related to our trip, which kind of stinks because that means the next couple of days I will be running around with my, like, you know, like my head was chopped off. But um, I did do, I, cook dinner. Dinner is pretty much done. And um, what else? Um, Michael's already had his shower, so that's done. I have to put a Target order in um, so I can pick up a few things just to hold us over. I didn't want to do a full food shopping, so I just picked up a few little things. So I have to go pick that up later. And that is it. I don't think I'm going to have much more for today, um, but we will pick this up tomorrow. And tomorrow, I hope um, to be able to start doing a little packing. Um, most of my stuff, I believe, is washed and clean. Um, I'll probably have to do one last, I'll probably have to do two, three, four loads of laundry um, on Thursday. I just know it. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. I um, wanted to share, I think I may have shared this last year, but every year my sister and brother-in-law sends a um, kind of like a goodie package, uh, 
have a safe travel package to uh, the boys and it's a box full of uh, all different kinds of snacks and they love it. It's usually gone by, you know, the end of the first day. Um, but uh, it really comes in handy because it's just a large selection of all different kinds of things, you know, nuts, um, nuts, there's like some fruit snacks, there's some chips, some cookies, what else? Um, granola bars, things like that. So this, I have to, my hair's a mess. <laughs> I have to, um, I'll have to show it to you in a few minutes um, if I could do that. But that is about it for, for today, I think. And I'll pick up tomorrow. Um, and hopefully we'll get some packing uh, started. I uh, usually take off the day before we leave. So that would have been Thursday. So I can not, you know, be so stressed out and trying to get everything done. But this year I didn't do that. Uh, mostly because I forgot. So, um, it's okay, you know, just push through it, we'll get it done, and then, you know, then I can relax, and, um, well, I won't relax until I get there. I'll relax when I get to the first hotel stop. We usually stop somewhere in uh, North and South Carolina, or South Carolina, South Carolina, for the night, um, because we can't do with the two boys straight through to Florida. Um, so that's what we do. So once I get to that first hotel, then I can relax a little bit. And then, you know, I don't know, does anybody else get nervous traveling or get anxiety? Um, I don't get overly like, you know, where it, you know, where it paralyzes me, but I do get a little, a little anxious, but, uh, once we're on the road, I'm okay. And like I said, once we get to our first hotel, safely then I know I'm okay for the night I don't know I think it's as as you get older you think about things a little bit more than you did when you were younger I don't know maybe that's just me okay well I'm gonna end this here for today and we'll pick up tomorrow morning good morning welcome to our Tuesday I am just gonna get Michael ready for his therapist she should be coming to pick him up before I start work and then I have some towels to fold today. And then I hopefully will get into some packing or, um, you know, just some prepping for our Florida trip. And um, that's about it. I did want to show you, um, I mentioned yesterday about the um, snack box that my sister and brother-in-law always send to uh, the boys before we go away. And I think I took some footage last night and I'm gonna insert it here. Um, but it's a really, it's a really good idea. It helps us for our road trips, keeps them um, happy <laughs> and snack satisfied. Also helps me, my husband as well, because there's a few goodies in there that we can have as well. So it is very, um, it is very welcomed. And here comes Michael. Michael, can I have that? Thank you. No, 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 that's not for you to eat. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's get started. One more? Oh, thank you. Okay, so I wanted to share the snack box that my sister and brother-in-law sent to the boys. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's filled with. Pretty good selection of, of all different kinds of snacks. They really enjoy it. And I, I have to say I do too. <laughs> okay, I am on lunch. I have no idea what to start with first. Um, I'm a little bit, I feel a little bit discombobulated today. Um, not sure where to start. Hmm. I gotta figure something out. Uh. Okay, I figured I would start with what I'm taking to Florida with me, just sharing some of the things. Some of these things, of course, are the same as I did last year. Um, so they will be repeats. Um, I will also link the video um, that I did last year for the stuff that I was taking to Disney um, with me. 
So you can uh, also watch that one um, if you missed it. All right, so one of the repeats of this year is going to be this backpack. This is a packable backpack and um, it worked out really well last year. I think I was saying a couple weeks ago in a vlog, I really didn't want to carry a backpack. Um, still hoping that maybe my husband will carry everything, but I wanted to show you what I usually do carry in the backpack. Of course, I have my ears um, and let's see. Um, sometimes the ears give me a headache, so it's a hit or miss whether or not I will be taking them with me. I also have our ponchos. There is, I think, five in here, individual, individual ponchos. I hate them. Um, I was talking to my friend Gracie, who uses a packable raincoat, which, if I have time, I may get one. <laughs> um, also had, I have one, one or two might be in here of the, um, what are they called? Cooling rags. I did not like them. I did not care for them last year. Um, I know some people really like them. I, I don't like feeling, <laughs> I didn't feel cool. I felt like I had a wet, a wet, a wet mop around my neck. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So I will take it because I know the kids would probably use it. Me, not so much. So that is the bag of ponchos. And what else? Can I put anything else in here? I always take um, some wet ones. I also do take, um, what, what do you call them? <laughs> like, uh, right. Oh, wait, right here. <laughs> I always take these as well. Um, you know, Michael... Um, has sometimes has accidents and we need to be prepared so that's why I have a couple of these so that will also go in this backpack and of course I have um, the fans that we used last year and they came in handy um, and they lasted pretty long the battery on them I can't say that you know you know I usually just replaced we use them for two days and I think I only replaced the batteries in them towards the end of the uh, second park, um, which was pretty good. And I also have this one, um, and of course I'll, I will link these below, but this one actually has a mister. I didn't use the mister last year and probably will not, but this one, uh, everybody liked this one, of course, because it has the different speeds and um, this one came in handy as well. I was going to go get another one of these, but you know, first of all, I'm not holding it. Uh, what I did, what I did to do was I actually was able to use it on the tables at we, when we stopped to eat something, you know, and point it in the direction of the boys and they were good with that. But for the most part, I really just like the ones that are hanging on your neck so these I showed you last week in the vlog as well this was the reusable straws and you know they came it came in this little pouch which was nice I you know I didn't even think about that um, but there is I think how many in here 12 or something, I think it was um, so I am gonna go ahead and I don't think I'm going to keep it in this one because I did get one of Amy's, um, Amy's Small World, one of her reusable straw bags. And what I like is that it had the clip on the thing, on the bottom. So I don't even really have to fit this. I'm not going to keep it in the cloth because that's going to be even more painful. Trying to get it in and out when you need a straw every five minutes in Disney, right? So, um... That will go in here as well. Um, anything else that was actually going to go in here? I also do take sunscreen um, because, you know, you're walking around in the parks and, you know, um, I like to have certain sunscreens for myself, uh, for my face, and then for the kids. But this is the Solar Buddies, and this is what we used last year 
for Michael, it came in very hand, came in handy because you can fill it with whatever kind of um, suntan, suntan, sunscreen lotion you want to put in it. And then this comes comes off. <laughs> oh my God! Maybe not today. It doesn't. Why can't I get it off? Okay, hold up. <laughs> okay, here we go. And it has like a roller ball. And this is so much easier for me to put on Michael than, it, than trying to get him to stand still so I can wipe it in. You know, uh, with autism comes a lot of sensory um, issues. So this really worked out well for us. I can even get it on his face without him, you know, fighting me um, but I always like it it's small and you could just throw it in the bag and what else do I usually keep in here of course you know um, what I do like about this backpack is that it has this this little um, zippered area so if you wanted to put credit cards or your your wallet or information you know driver's license things like that you can put it in this area and yeah. um, when you have it on your back, this part is on your back. <laughs> okay, Joanne, <laughs> stick with me, guys. Okay, so the next thing um, I have in the front of the the uh, backpack is the boys' autograph books. We actually did not get any autographs last year. I don't even know what happened, but it just never happened. So for whatever reason, we got two new ones and hopefully they can get some character. Alex really gets a kick out of it. So hopefully we can get um, some of that this year. So that is what is gonna be in my backpack. I like it, it has two spots for your water bottles. And um, I think, you know, it's, oh, actually, let me put this stuff back in. You know, I don't like to carry too much. Like I said, I can't stand carrying a backpack. I don't know, it's just too hot. And um, I used to carry the lounge fly ones, but they're too small. So it's, you know, this is, I guess, a happy medium, kind of. Um, but this is what I will be taking with me. But I do have a um, fanny pack, a Disney fanny pack, which, what did I do with it that I wanted to show you, which I will. Um, but, um, that is really what I prefer to carry than carry that whole thing, you know. Um, you know, it's just, I don't know, it gets nuts to me. Okay, I think maybe I may have put it, I thought I had put it back in the, behind my bed. Okay, some of the new things that I'm going to be bringing is this toiletry bag. Now, I don't know, I think I did show it in the last one. If I did, I'm sorry. Um, but this one I liked because it had the hanging, so you could hang it, you know, on the towel, the towel bar. And hopefully, I'm hoping that this is the only thing that I have to take for toiletries and makeup. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to promise anything because, you know, Sometimes I get a little crazy with that stuff. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it has to be, this is what I usually do. I should really bring up the one that I always take with me every year. It is a um, Travel travel On, is that the name of the company? And it is like really kind of like a whole tote bag um, with compartments. And I've had that over... 15 years, probably 20 years. It's still in good condition, but it is rather large. But sometimes, you know, I just need the really large one. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not. But what we do is when we stop in North Carolina uh, for the night on our drive down, I don't like to take that big one. So I usually take a smaller one with travel, travel um, toiletries. And that, I just have to take that plus our one suitcase with all of our clothes for the next day. And it's just so much easier than lugging out everybody's suitcase. And, you know, it's just, 
it's just easier it's easier for me and, and that's the most important <laughs> no only kidding um but so that is um some of the things new new this year we are taking this is i don't want to open it i'm going to link it below but this is actually i'll just show you a little peek if we could see this is actually for the beach it is like that nylon material where the sand just goes through it comes with um little what do you call these things that you insert into the sand to hold it down this we're going to give this a try and see how it goes um mainly because after disney we are traveling over to the west coast and it'll just be the four of us and usually if we go to the beach on the east coast of florida it's our entire family and they already have all the beach chairs the beach you know umbrella all those things that um we would just use with them so since they're not coming with us to the west coast we needed to have something um the resort that we are staying at has a private beach entry and they do provide you with the chairs and the umbrella but we thought it would be good to just, just to have this as an extra so that is what is new for my beach bag this year actually i have two more things let me go get them okay so this is our beach bag I got this maybe about three, three years ago. Do I like it? <sighs> yes and no. I like that it's big and it has a lot of compartments. What I don't like about it is that it's big and has a lot of compartments, if that makes sense. I just, you know, I'm usually the one stuck carrying it because my husband has to carry the other stuff. Um, and it gets heavy because they have, you know, all well, their ski mats, their scuba, not scuba, scuba, snorkeling equipment. So it becomes really heavy. So it's hard, you know, this year what I did was I purchased two of these towels by Dock and Bay. And these are quick drying um, towels that come in their own little pouch that the sand, again, will, you know, fall off easily and then you can fold it and put it back into your beach bag a lot better than putting those big fluffy towels <laughs> in the beach bag now I only got two of these for me and my husband but I know that the boys beach towels are a little bit smaller and I can can kind of roll them in so it won't take up as much space at least that's what I'm hoping um, but you know We'll see. So this, this bag will go in to the beach bag. And you know, it's kind of, it's heavy between everybody's, well, they'll have these on their feet, hopefully. And you know, the caps as well. And you know, hopefully it won't be, but I'm, I can tell you holding it now, it's heavy. So next year, I think as the kids get older, they're gonna get their own bag and let them carry it, right? Okay, so I think that is it for what I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to have some lunch and then I will pick up uh, after and uh, share some more packing and getting ready kind of things. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I also wanted to share the t-shirts, t-shirts that I got. This one is for me. Has a little Epcot ball. <laughs> I also got another one, <clears throat> but to be honest with you, I'm not crazy about it. So I'm glad that I did get the other one. And for the boys, um, I put this all in the laundry basket because I knew I was going to have to wash it. <clears throat> okay. I got Alex Stitch because he loves Stitch and he... You know, it'll match the little stitch cap that he has. And for Michael, I got him the main man, the main mouse, Mickey Mouse. I'm so out of breath, I don't even know why. Um, but those are what we're wearing for our day at Epcot. And wherever else <laughs> we may travel, we'll see, we'll see. I always wear my... Um, Blair Lamb travel. Okay. Let me go. I wear this on my travel day. 
vacay mode because I am in it. And then I also got this one um, from Blair, from Blair Lamb Design. And can you see that? It is really pretty blue with White Castle and the fireworks. I love it. That one is going with me as well. So I think that's all as far as new. My husband has a couple of t-shirts I think that he is going to wear um, or he may not wear anything themed, which is fine. I understand. <laughs> but I understand if you don't want to be themed. Um, but that is all the new the new t-shirts, I think. I think that's it. And now we're back in the kitchen. I did want to start packing what I knew I could pack today. But where my where we have our luggage in the basement, I can't reach it. And it's, there's too many things, too many things in the way of me getting there to even put a step stool to get it down. So I'll just wait for him later. I um, <clears throat> really should just finish doing the wash. And I always like to use packing cubes. I just feel like it makes everything neater and I can kind of organize it the way I like to organize it. Like I have one suitcase just for the boys. They have their packing cubes, one suitcase for me. I have my packing cubes and my husband has a free for all in his <laughs> luggage. So it uh, works out great. <laughs> but um, I guess, you know, maybe I'll film a little bit of that tomorrow or Thursday and um, I can't believe that it is almost here you know it takes it feels like it takes forever to get here and then when it when it's almost here it's like you're running out of time to do everything that you need to do I don't know about anybody else but I like I like to have a clean house when I come back it just makes it less stressful <laughs> returning you're already depressed <laughs> that you had to come home but you know I just like to have you know to make sure that everything is clean I'm just checking on Alex's pizza of course for lunch I am gonna make the chicken salad and then I have to get ready I have to get back to work that is the problem with trying to film <laughs> while you're working but so I think Unless something really exciting happens this afternoon, I think I'm going to end the vlog for today here. And then we'll pick up tomorrow with more packing and I can maybe share a little bit more um, about prep. Oh, I know what I want. One minute. Another new thing <laughs> that we purchased for this year for our drive. Um, you know, you have to have a lot of road road trip essentials, but I'm not kidding. It's, you know, I think that there's so many YouTubers that, you know, put out my 20 things that you need for a successful road trip. Well, I've been doing this for a while. And even before traveling road trips with, you know, my husband and my kids, road trips are what me and my parents and my sister did every summer. So I'm used to being in the car and I'm used to dealing with everything that you have to deal with <laughs> being in the car. I gotta check that pizza. But this is a tray. <clears throat> now my husband did this, he did this the other day for me, so I don't know now how it works exactly. Oh, how did he do it? Oh, I'm gonna have to, when I get it hooked up in the car, I will have to show you. But it's essentially two cup holders, a tray for food. And don't tell me that it's not necessary because <laughs> it's necessary, people. Let me tell you, when you're traveling with three boys, <clears throat> two boys and a guy, <laughs> you know, oh my God, the car, what a mess. You know, not so much my husband, but the boys are like, Ridiculous, but I wanted to have some place to put, you know, okay, we're doing fast food. We may not be we may not be doing as much fast food this year because we don't have Maggie traveling with us. So we are able to go and sit in a restaurant or <clears throat> excuse me, even just sit in a fast food place. So I I hope that it's not McDonald's. Burger King, McDonald's, Burger King, 
on repeat like it is like it normally is but anyway if it is at least we'll have some place to put you know in the front seat it's just like there's no room I don't know we have a minivan and the boys yes they have a lot of room in the back but in the front I feel like <clears throat> you know I, I you know I do carry an extra tote bag in the front with me with all my things <laughs> that I want for the trip so maybe that's it but I don't want to make this too long but I just want to share this last thing I will show you what it looks like once we put it in the van and um, anything else that I think you know is worth mentioning for road trips I will let you know as well okay let me get to lunch <laughs> okay my friends we are back in my bedroom I have the luggages all out, every single packing cube I own, <laughs> and I just started doing the laundry. So I am not going to pack anything quite yet. I I wanted to do the laundry and just do it. I mean, I did, I could do a little bit of packing, but um, I think what I'm going to do is just um, wait for everything so I could do it um, a little bit more organized. I have... <clears throat> some piles um, of things that I do want to take and um, I, I wanted to show you this was a birthday present but I got this because <laughs> it has a spot for the ponytail now <laughs> I know I don't have much of a ponytail anymore so that's okay um, but what I really wanted it for was to keep the sun off my face. Anyway, um, I wanted to keep the sun off my face as much as possible. Even though I use a sunscreen, I noticed that I do get a lot of damage, um, sun damage. So now I have this little, this is the other sun, uh, what do you call it, bucket hat that I got um, for my birthday as well. And this is for the pool and the beach. Um, so those two things are going with me. Okay, let me get to this laundry or try to sort some of this stuff out and I'll check back in in a few minutes. Believe it or not, I'm pretty much done. At least my luggage is done. I have everything in my packing cubes. There's still room for more. Um, this is pretty much it that, I, that I'm that i gonna pack. Um, I do have some things still in the laundry. I have to go ahead and um, finish that up and then I will stick what I need to in here. Um, the boys, I do have um, one luggage that really isn't packed. I actually have to make two, two, one suitcase for us to take to the hotel on our way down, and then I take um, I take something for me, something for the boys, and my husband throws in what he needs, and then that's the only bag that we have to take when we're staying overnight. So that one is pretty much done. I don't use the, the packing cubes with that one um, because it's not really that much in there. I do have to do um, my toiletry bags and that I will probably do on uh, most of it on Thursday. And then Friday morning, just throw in whatever I have, um, you know, that I use that morning that I need to put in that bag. But I think that is it. Um, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here and then we will start as our trip starts on Friday. And, um, you know, I'll do another vlog of our day traveling, <laughs> traveling to Florida, two days traveling to Florida. And, you know, and then I'll just continue from there. So I wanna thank you so much for following along the last few days um, in getting ready and prepping and packing for our Florida slash day at Epcot. <laughs> um, I hope that you've enjoyed uh, this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. 
don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to do my best to vlog as much as I can while um, we are in Epcot for the day. Um, of course, I will also include our, um, you know, our stay in Florida. Um, as well as visiting over on the West Coast. So I hope that you subscribe so you can come and follow along. Thank you so much, and I will see you next week.